All right, so for a blouse, uh, pretty much the same thing as doing a, a, a tank top, but we're going to just add sleeves, and we're also going to add the collar and the button that we created. We can apply that in there. Uh, or I'll probably, yeah, you could just probably just watch the video on the buttons and just use that to apply it in there. Uh, I already erased it. I didn't save it. So I'll just make a simple button for this example. All right, pen tool. Uh, we're going to start center front neck. Let me zoom in so you guys can see this a little bit better. I know on the YouTube videos, by the way, it's better to click on where it says 340 or 320 or 480. Change it to 720 and uh, it'll be really sharp. You can read all the words everywhere and it'll be clear for you to see it. All right, so start center front neck. Click and let go. High point shoulder, click and let go. Arm hole, we're going to go all the way to the low point shoulder, click and let go. Uh, let me default that, okay. Now, create the arm hole, we're going to click and hold and create the shape of the arm hole. Yeah, I guess you can follow those dotted lines somewhat, they're not too bad. Uh, now we have a handlebar. So we, get it, we need to get rid of the handlebar, we just click on the anchor point. I'm going to come down somewhere between this anchor point and this closest section, deepest section inward. And I'm gonna come to about right here. Create a little angle. Make sure that this handlebar is going the same direction as my uh, my next anchor point. And I'm gonna come to about right here. Hold shift, drag down. All right, looking good. This handlebar we need to get rid of. Just click on the anchor point. And we're gonna have a little tail going on here. So I'm gonna to come to about right here. See this blue line? It's a little bit past it. And I'm gonna create this little nice little curve. And notice the direction and the size of my handlebars. We're gonna keep this handlebar because it's gonna help the curve out for our next anchor point in the center front. So I'm gonna to come to about right here, click, hold shift, and drag until that curve looks really nice and smooth. And there you have it. Okay, let's scroll down a little bit. Uh, again, you can always adjust with the drag select tool. Okay. I think that looks pretty good right here. A little bit more curve right there. All right, now we need to reflect. Uh, I'm gonna select it with this selection tool, the black arrow. I'm going to go click on reflect. I'm going to hit alt or option, option on Max, alt on PCs. Click right in the center right here. And as you can see, it flipped. Preview's already selected. Looks good. Click copy. And there you go. This is already perfectly aligned. Uh, as I showed you guys before, you can select both halves and align it just to make sure everything's okay but it's pretty much set. Uh, next step is we need to average. Take your direct select tool, white arrow, rectangle down the center, right click, average, vertical, okay. Go to Pathfinder, still selected, don't click anywhere, still selected, go to Pathfinder, again, if you go to Window, Pathfinder, and there it is. So in Pathfinder, click Unite. Now just to show you the, it's properly united. I'm gonna put yellow in there, and there you go. It looks good. All right, so the block is pretty much set. We're happy. Uh, we got this section right here, we need to curve. Okay, so let me zoom out, and let me check my timer here. All right, zoom out, go to uh, your pen tool, click and hold it until you get the convert anchor point tool click on the anchor point there we go hold shift drag to the left and there you have a nice really nice curve going on uh, again if you want to adjust it you could just hold shift and drag it up or not I'm gonna keep it down here all right next step let's create a sleeve and for the sleeve we're gonna take the direct select tool select the armhole making sure not to grab the corners. Uh, control C, Control V. 
Uh, on max, it's Command C, Command V. Center it right back on that black line. Let's zoom in a little bit just to see. Looking good. Zoom out because otherwise it can't draw it. Uh, and now go to Pen Tool. Hover over that first anchor point. You can see a little backslash. Here's an X. Here's a backslash. Click on it. And let's create a sleeve. Uh, I'm going to come to about, let's see here. Now, this is a good opportunity to take out your uh, book, uh, Electric Fashion, on the page, uh, let's see, 156 has a bunch of sleeves you can take a look at. It helps you, you know, it helps you visualize what the sleeve should look like. So I'm going to come to about right here. Okay. Then I'm going to just get rid of this handlebar and I'm going to come down to about right here. All right. And at which point Let's see. At which point we can create a little styling detail which this obviously does not look good. All right, just create your sleeve. All right, so my sleeve is a little bit skinny, a little bit bubbly in certain areas. Uh, it's all right. I can adjust everything. I certainly do not like this here and this section here. Uh, let me just go to Convert Anchor Point Tool and just give it that little curve right there. And I'm going to delete an anchor point using Delete Anchor Point Tool. Let's get rid of this one right here. And let's get rid of this one right here. Okay. And I'm just going to stretch this one out just to give that effect there. All right. This leaves a little awkward. I'm going to live with it for now. Now, uh, let's add some details in there. Take your pen tool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add a line to go through here like so. Okay. And I, I usually take this line and I make it point, let's say, 5. Okay, so it's a little bit skinnier. We can adjust it, fine-tune it. Whatever. I'm, I, you know, honestly, I'm just being too worried and a little paranoid about my timer here. And I probably shouldn't really care because I could just do it in two videos and be done with it. All right. So let's see what we have here. Let's do this here. There we go. And I like to create the sleeve cuff in advance because it just, I've found that it gets a little annoying to, uh, to just go back and draw a separate sleeve. I want it to fill one shot at the same time I'm trying to draw it. All right, so here's a cuff. Uh, go to Pen Tool. I'm going to go ahead and add a stitch. Now remember, this should not have a fill. Okay, this should just simply be a stroke. For stitch, should also be nothing more than a stroke. Uh, it's already set to two dash one gap, looking good for my stitching. And I'm just going to duplicate that down here. Now, with me saying that these should have nothing but strokes and no fills, notice over here, my dashed lines have fills. So let's go ahead and select all three of these, because I'm sure, like I see here, have all uh, they all have fills. Turn them off, you're good. Doesn't affect you either way, but it's just better. As long as it's straight line, it won't affect you much. But if it was a any type of curve, it will appear. All right. Now, sometimes we get these what I like to call bunny ears. I'm gonna select them, uh, and I'm gonna go to cap and corner, just round, round, and there you go. Now it's a beautiful little connection there. All right. So let's see what we have. This sleeve is actually not too bad. Uh, let me go ahead and select these. And I'm going to right-click, Group, R, Command, G. Then I'm going to Reflect, Copy, and hold Shift, click, and drag. And you can position it, and it'll be aligned perfectly. Level, that at least. And now, here, as you can see, it does need to be have, it needs to go in a little bit, because it's 
thickening up the line because it's not overlapping properly. All right, let's see where my timer is at again. Okay, so this is definitely going to be two videos. All right, placket. Uh, you have the placket. We have stitching. Uh, let's go ahead and put some stitching on there because I want to put the stitching on the bottom hem before uh, before we put in the placket because I want that I want it to go on the bottom. So I'm going to take my direct select tool, select the bottom. Notice I'm not getting touching the corners of my blouse, just the insides of it. Control copy and paste. No fill and Click dashed lines, 0.25, and there it is. No, the point is here is not to add work, is to do everything you do efficiently and simplify your life a little bit as much well, as much as possible. Alright, so here we go. On this line, I can just drag that out. Ooh, what am I doing? Undo, just grab that line, select it. I'm gonna drag it out a little bit, drag this one down. Just a little fine tuning. Okay, bring this one down slightly, bring this one out slightly. All right, and now it's pretty even, looks nice. You know, it's good to have things nice and uh, organized and clean, uh, everything balanced, it just looks better. I'm gonna take the rectangle tool and I'm just gonna create a rectangle okay go down the center and I like to zoom in at this point right here now this rectangle should be solid line and I like to have them at the same size as the rest of the strokes in the blouse bring it down that's pretty good because there's me a collar in there anyway let's go to the bottom let's see where we're at here we go and we could bring this we can afford to bring this down slightly and we can camouflage it, this thickness, within the waistband. There we go. All right. Now, while I'm down here, I'm going to take my pen tool. I'm going to click, and I'm going to scroll up to the top of the blouse. Am I moving? Yes, I am. Oh, too much. Go down a little bit. Here we go. Oh, here we go, right now. And change it to 0.25 dashed lines and there it is now take this stroke okay I'm holding alt click shift drag so I'm gonna duplicate it alright zooming out okay looking good let's add a stitch I can copy this hemline but I'm just Actually, let's go ahead and copy the hemline, copy paste for the armhole. Let's position it. All right, if this happens to you, don't worry. There is a fill on this curved path. Just turn off the fill, and there it is. Letter I for eyedropper, pick up the stitch. There you go, and it's looking good. Click, I'm gonna move it in a little bit closer. Okay, we can. I can stretch it. I think I could stretch it without affecting it just a little bit. Maybe a little bit curve. All right. Now I'm just going to copy and paste. Right click, uh, transform, reflect. Okay. And there it is. Now I'm doing this fast. Maybe, but this is going to be on YouTube. And we could always drag that bar back or forward, and we could skip to the parts so go back to the parts you want to see all right so timer is done